In this video, we'll draw a curved rocker arm. This curve would be difficult to do with any tool except the intersection tool. We will intersect that sketch and that sketch. So now we need to draw those two sketches. I'm going to use the primitive circle, the polyline, the mirror tool, the trim and extend tools, and the sketch fillet tool. Note that to mirror and to trim and to extend all lines need to be on the same sketch plane. So when you draw a new line, make the first click on a previous sketch. Don't just click anywhere on the grid. That's the one circle that is on its own sketch plane. So we don't need to interact it with others, we'll just delete it when we need to. Note how I'm mirroring. I select a line, I select mirror, I select a mirror line, and it mirrors. Now I'm going to extend these lines so that they touch. And then I'll sketch fillet them. I'm going to mirror that sketch fillet line as well. Now trim all the unneeded lines away. So I'll just mirror that left curve. Now bring in the holes. And there's our first sketch. To do the second, we'll sketch it vertically along a box. I'm going to make a rectangle the length of the first sketch and extrude it into a box. I don't need the rectangle sketch, so I'll delete it. I'm choosing Delete over Hide because if I chose Hide, then that first sketch would get hidden also. Now I can sketch on a vertical face. That's a three-point arc. and I'll offset the arc. Note I clicked on it first so that the offset arc was on the same sketch plane. Again, all lines must be on the same sketch plane to interact with each other. Now I need to finish the face with some polylines at either end. And that's the sketch. Delete the box. We don't need that line either. 
Now extrude both sketches, starting with this first one. You can extrude this one any length. It needs to be as long as the first sketch. Or should I say as wide as the first sketch. Now I've put this in orthographic mode because I need to make both sketches the same height. And orthographic mode makes it easier to see. So I'll activate press pull. Look at the left view zoom in and now I can press pull them the same height. Now move this sketch over to that sketch. Make sure they completely intersect as so. Click Combine Intersect. Target Source, click to finish, and there you have it.